great to see you. Welcome back to Story Time with Karen, where we spread sunshine and share stories that warm our hearts. Today's story is Play for Me, Peter, written by Carol Selick. This touching tale is all about a little boy named Peter who dreams of playing the piano just like his grandpa. So, what are you waiting for? I need your help to wake up the characters and start our adventure. Let's use our clapping magic. Clap your hands. Now clap louder. Clap faster. That's it, you're doing great. All right, everyone, hold on to your imaginations. Here we go! Peter would never forget the day he heard Grandpa Henry play the piano. His hands jumped and his foot thumped and Peter felt the music from his head to his toes. I want to play just like Grandpa! He plays, I have to move, Grandma told Peter. Then she danced him all around the room. Grandpa Henry was a jazz musician. He played piano in nightclubs, restaurants and concert halls. Jazz! Peter liked the way it sounded. One Saturday, Grandpa taught Peter a song, Heart and Soul. Peter learned the melody and Grandpa played the chords. We're jamming, he told Peter. But then the music stopped. The piano sat in the corner looking sad. Grandma looked sad too. Grandpa was gone. He's still playing his music in heaven. Play for me, Peter. This house is too quiet. <sighs> Heart and soul didn't sound the same without his duet partner. Let me try another song. He pressed the white keys. Plank! He pressed the black keys. Kerplunk! Peter opened the piano bench stuffed with sheet music. He stared at the black dots. He studied the squiggly lines. Peter lifted a pile of music. <gasps> An envelope fell to the floor. What's this? It has my name on it. Open it, Grandma said. The envelope was filled with money. That's where Grandpa hid his money. It's his gift to you. I know what he'd want us to do with it. Let's go for a drive. Grandma parked in front of a music store. <gasps> Look at all the pianos! Peter shouted. I'm Mr. Wally, said the man behind the counter. Do you want to learn to play the piano? Yes, I want to play just like my grandpa. They walked to a small room at the back of the store, just big enough for a piano. This is middle C. Put your right thumb on middle C and curve your fingers on the keys, Peter. Mr. Wally pointed to the upper lines in the piano book. The sounds get higher and higher, like climbing a ladder. Repeat after me. Every good boy does fine. Peter pressed his fingers on the keys and played his first song. That didn't sound like the jazz my grandfather played. You mean this? Mr. Wally's fingers raced up and down the keyboard. That's what I'm talking about! You can play like that if you practice and work hard. It's going to take time. Every day after school, 
Peter went to Grandma's house to practice his lessons. He played through the seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. He played simple songs and then harder songs. He practiced scales and finger exercises and songs by famous composers like Bach and Beethoven. He even played boogie woogie and jazz music. One day, Grandma said, Keep playing! You've got that same magic that Grandpa had! He would be so proud of you. When you play, I can't sit still! And then she got up and danced all around the room. <laughs> wow, what a wonderful story! I couldn't help dancing just like Grandma! After all that hard work, practice and determination, Peter turned into a great piano player and he even played jazz just like his grandpa. Peter's grandpa inspires him so much. I also have people in my life who inspire me. I had a great piano teacher who was so patient. I loved learning from her. And my parents are so smart and so kind. They inspire me every single day. I would love to hear who inspires you and why. See you soon, friends. Until then, always remember that you can do anything as long as you work hard and practice. Bye!